Sandland, the land of sand. Hello and welcome everybody, Chris back with yet another fragrance review. Uh, this time looking at uh, the niche market, which I rarely do actually. Um, but I have a representative of the niche market here in my hand, which I actually do adore a lot. And it's Swedish. It comes from the house of Biredo, if I may spell it correctly, I'm not sure. but. Um, Nevertheless, it's called Biredo Oliver Peoples. Okay, and this is interesting due to uh, several aspects. First of all, it's a cooperation between the, the house of Biredo, or Biredo, correct me if I'm wrong, and the uh, sunglass manufacturer or sunglass brand of Oliver Peoples in Los Angeles. And so, obviously, um, they get along well together, and uh, they decided to create a, um, a collection of sunglasses matching with fragrances. That means, what does it mean? It's one single fragrance, okay? There's three different bottles that you can get with this fragrance. It's, it's a green one, a champagne one, and an indigo one. And you can get the sunglasses themselves in the same colors. So this is... You know the idea behind this is the limited edition stuff um, though still widely available it has been introduced in 2015 and the the, uh, the nose the perfumier of Biredo had the task to um, observe the sights of Los Angeles through various uh, color lenses okay so that was the idea and that's how it pairs up with the sunglass and and, and, the, and um, the different colors of the bottles so now about the scent itself. It's very, very interesting stuff. Let me put it down here so you can see it as well. Um, sprayed it on earlier and what hits you straight up is, it's, first of all, it's an Eau de Parfum and it's 50 milliliter, okay? And it's bloody expensive. Um, it's really expensive. You can check it. I don't want to name any prices, but it's expensive juice, but it's worth it. Why? Uh, because it's special. It starts off with, with a juniper berry um, lemon type of um, very intelligent freshness, not not your usual stuff, right? The juniper berries and the lemon gives give it a, um, a very uh, nice charismatic freshness, right? And then what comes in is the iris and mostly the patchouli. The patchouli gives it an unbelievably sexy dirtiness, okay? It's a really nicely done patchouli. It's not the 70s patchouli, it somehow seems the modern patchouli, right? And then in the base you have the note of sand. Um, the sand note is something that is is one of the first fragrances that I discovered, which is it's, it's sort of a gives it a bit of a creaminess, right? And a bit of an exotic touch as well. And the musk and um, I think yes, immortel is in there as well. So you see it's quite complex. You can detect the various phases, especially the first and the last, and the patchouli in, in, in the middle. I didn't get too much iris of this, I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's just my nose. But in terms of longevity, uh, performance-wise, and silage and projection, this one is, an, as I mentioned, it's an eau de parfum, it's a beast. It is really a beast. I've seen complaints about the House of Biredo uh, not you know, producing juice that is uh, long-lasting enough for its price. So the price-quality ratio was something that, that um, some customers said that it's not 100% good, but uh, with this one, it is just perfect, especially on hair and fabric. On, on skin, it develops nice, and it stays on for, I'd, I'd say, about six to eight hours. On hair, it stays on for the next day, or, or your jacket, or, or you know, or your, even your pillow when you put your head down. So it's really a, it's really a strong fragrance very good longevity without being pushy now you don't overdo it you know don't don't pull the trigger too many times I think three sprays from this stuff is is just perfect you know uh, make sure you get one of one of the sprays in the back of your head and will linger for for you forever now uh, age wise is a, I think it's one of the funkiest fragrances I've really ever come across it is so nice it's very modern right even with this heavy dose of patchouli it's very modern, yet it's, it's, it's not something just an easygoing, you know, everyday fragrance. It's, it's, um, it's very sexy as well. It's both, it's, it's again, it's, a, it's a, for both genders, I really would say that, you know, man or girl, man or woman, boy or girl, whatever. Um, Age-wise, 
I don't see any boundaries there. I mean, a 17-year-old boy could wear this, and a and a and a and a, and a 55-year-old woman could wear this. I have absolutely no uh, restrictions in in sight uh, in regards to this fragrance. So, really, um, I truly enjoyed this, um, as it's as it's something special, as something that you would expect from a niche house to you know to, to come out with, especially if if they have this marketing. Um, uh, cooperation with, with somebody else in this case Oliver Peoples which I think it was it was um, it was a good idea and uh, it's actually looking at the, if you go into the, uh, your fragrance shop and you see the three bottles the you know the indigo the champagne and the green it really it's it's all the same fragrances right but you, you immediately start to, you're like a child yeah I shall have you know this one that one which one do you like and all that so it's even a little bit of a game you know I haven't seen the, the sunglasses but they must be nice obviously and um, it's one of my first, actually, review-wise, it's my first encounter with Biredo, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm really um, happy to, you know, be able to do this review because it's a fantastic fragrance. Um, Oliver Peoples by Biredo, Eau de Parfum. And um, thank you for your attention. I hope I covered everything I wanted. Uh, try this fragrance because it's um, it's something special in your collection definitely collector collector's item that's what I wanted to say definitely for somebody who's collecting it's worth it because it uh, the juice is fantastic the presentation is great the idea is great as I said it's a limited edition I'm not sure if it's if it's out of production yet or not, or not. Um, but I don't think so because it's still widely available and um, yeah that was Chris and if you wonder where I am I'm not on the rooftops of, of Paris this time not on the rooftop of Los Angeles which I should be for the review obviously that is Budapest uh, here behind so um, busy busy uh, nice weather and all that all the best to you all and see you soon for the next review bye bye